Good evening, everybody. This is Subtix84. This is part six. So let's play the Lesson of Zelda: The Wind Waker HD. Last time we left off, we just we just completed that uh, that battleship mini game. We gained a heart piece and those two treasure charts, and now we're doing another side quest, Picture Day, as I call it, my last video. But we're gonna do one more one more uh, task. As as you can see, my last video, we we already took care of the two uh, picture task mission. Now we're gonna take on the the final one, for now at least. Because I heard there's more later on in the game. Anyway, very good. Next is at long last my final command. Open your heart and mind and listen to what I say. Somewhere in the town's a couple, a man and a woman, whose hearts are secretly filled with thoughts of the other, and yet reasons are unknown. The two have never spoken. Maybe because they have a thing for each other. Even when they happen, by a chance to pass a each other in the road, they they each still a brief fugitive glance at each other, but they surpass their, the longest in their hearts. I cannot let this tragedy go any longer. For, for the sake of the time, my own desire to help these two poor souls, I should become Cupid, Archer of Love. These are these two are timid burglars in the house of love. And you must capture the pictograph of them, taking their fugitive thoughts. And young Master Link. If and when hope and beyond you manage to complete the third test, then you shall have my number one pupil. Be my number one pupil. Sorry about that. Oh ho ho! Does that, does that not excite you? Good luck, young sir. All right. So now our final victim. We go outside and. Okay. So our final victim is on the right. All right. No, no, no. I'm, uh, yes, on the right. Yep, she's right. She's right here. You want to stand? He's right here. And just ignore those kids for now. And we just gotta wait and remember. Okay, those kids is gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna cause a little distraction. So I'm gonna stand about right here and at least zoom in. And I have to remember the. I got, I, I got trying not to move the, the, I got trying to move the gamepad so much. All right, so just like now, just like the first task. You want to wait and take a picture at the right exact time. Otherwise, it's not going to come out perfectly, and you got to do this all over again. Now, I may have to speed montage this. Anyway, until wait a minute, no, no, that's a little kid. Anyway, the guy that we're looking for is the guy in the green shirt and blonde hair. So, while you're waiting, how is everyone today? Today is March the 16th, 2014, and. And I went to GameStop today, and I bought uh, South Park: The Stick of Truth for the PS3, and I got, and I bought the guide for it. But I haven't I haven't played it yet. I was going to, but I was I was really stressed out today, and I just want some time to myself. But I really don't want to go into detail to that. Oh, and uh, if you guys had seen my uh, YouTube bulletin last night, well, early this morning. Well, here's what happened. Good news to all you Neptunia fans. Yup. So this morning, the two new hybrid, hybrid Dimension of Tuning games has been announced. And one of them is probably going to be on the Wii U. Yay! That's going to be so happy. And I believe it's called Super Neptunia U. I think it is. And if my theory is right, it's going to come out on the Wii U. And are you guys are familiar with uh, Hybrid Dimension of Tuning Victory? The one I did a let's play of? Well, there's going to be a sequel. Oh my god, I cannot fucking wait to see what it looks like. I cannot fucking wait. I know BSL can't wait. Justin can't wait. Rise of 51. Yeah, aka Rise of 51 is going to be more specific. But in, in, uh, who else can't wait? I know Man Angie can't wait either. And for the time being, they're saying that it is, it is unknown what platform it's going to be on. But I'm pretty certain that Neptune U is going to be on the Wii U. And Neptune Victory 2. It's gonna be either on the PS3 or PS4. You know, I kind of hope it comes out on both systems, PS3 and PS4, but not just the um, PS4. Oh, wait, oh, 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 okay, okay, here they come, here they come. Don't fuck this up. All right, all right, we got it, we got it. All right. So like the fact that when I move my gamepad it shakes. 
All right, hopefully, hopefully he'll he'll accept this. All right, now let's show it to the uh, photographer. Oh man, if you can't fucking see that shit, I'm gonna be pissed off. All right, finally you've seen it. Yes. So this side mission is done, and we would get something special. Not a treasure chart, not a heart container, but now I should be reading the freaking dialogue. But oh well. Alright, now then, my young sir, you have completed all the tasks I set I set you to. My doubts about you have been cleared up. I I shall hereby be proud to call you my assistant Link, and no assistant of mine will be seen going around taking photographs in monochrome. Not in a million years. So here, allow me to present you this photo box, and we get the deluxe photo box, a gift from Lenzo. Commemorizing your becoming assistant, it can take color photographs. So yeah, so so uh, for that one, when we take a picture, it's not it's not gonna come out as black and white anymore. Now it'll be in color. Hmm. Until now, you can take black and white. All right. Until blah, blah, blah. until now, you can only take black and white photographs, but now you can take color photographs, allowing you to show the world what is meant to be seen. Now go on there and snap. Photographs, snap them in color for me, all for the years I spent unable to do so. Fulfill my life's ambitions. Go to it, Link. All right. So there isn't, but there is more side quest. There, I believe there is more picture side quest, but that's like late in the game. Of course, my guidebook. Now on the GameCube version, well, there, there was four um photo tasks, and I believe the last one you had to take a picture of some bug. But thank God we ain't doing that. Now before I go before I go uh get the sale, we're gonna talk to some old lady. Yeah, right here. We gotta talk to her for a certain reason. If you could indulge me for a moment, please admit that I am looking fine. Why wow, look looking looking this fine would have won me Miss Windfall Crown way back when. I'm still looking better than all the young girls I know. Hoo hoo hoo. Alright, so you wanna take your take your picture out? All right. All right. Want to zoom in? No, no, no. I guess this is good. Ready? Snap. All right. Then we gotta show it to her. Well, is, well, is this how I look today? Well, I had no idea I had gloss on my skin. It was so perfect. Just look at me. I'm so stunning. I feel so wonderful now. I have to reward you for making me feel so good about myself here. And we got another treasure chart! Alright. And we already know what that does since I, since I showed you my last video. Anyway, my son picked it up somewhere and I would imagine you like sort of thing, correct? My son likes it and so must you, so you must too. Alright. So now the side quests are, are officially done. Well, at least not yet. For now, I mean, in Winterfell Island. So now we gotta talk to the Esmo guy in order to get the sale. My story is strange. I came across cursed seeds from a, from a land far away, a land where the blizzard is blown violently, heading for the town called Windfall. But, but dear me, as I travel, a terrible storm descended my tour of my ship in two bits. Yet, mysterious, and only that, escaped without so much of a mark on it. From the looks of you, I would say you are a traveler as well. And yes, indeed. Could you purchase that from me? It is my only heirloom from home. The people of this town do not seem that least bit interested in that, despite the fact that it would help them travel the dangerous seas about their town. Please, I beg of you. I wish to open a business in town, so I am just in need of finance. So how does A Ruby sound? Alright. I'll buy it. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much indeed. I have, per I have precisely eight rupees for it. I can now use these funds to finance my new business. Oh, dear me. What a happy day. Oh, happy day. Very well, young master. As I promised, take that. And we get the boat sail. Press A. Press A while on your boat to pull it, pull it out. And press B again to set to put it away. Okay, sorry about that. Yes, yes, yes. You made a good purchase today, my young master. And you save and you have saved my life and business as well. Treasure dearly. It is the finest sale in the world. Treat it as such. 
Now on a GameCube on a GameCube version the the wind cell is not is it's only seen in your inventory but in this version you can't see in your inventory. And so all we gotta do now is just just go to uh, Red the Lion, aka Red the Boat. I don't know his I don't know his official name, but I just call him Red Lion. Because now we're ready to, now we're ready to go out to set to the sea. To go to our next destination. So I hope you guys are ready. Alright. Okay, we got ten minutes in the club. Okay. Oh that look in your eyes, so you found yourself a sail, have you? Very well. I'll teach you the art of sailing. Come next to my hall, press A to climb aboard. Hold the sail and press A to get moving. The sail will catch the wind will which push the boat forward. The the yellow arrow that appears behind me in the case the wind wind direction. Keep that in mind folks. Use the L use the left joystick to steer and if you wish to move quickly you should keep the wind blowing directly to the sail. You can always press B to put to put the sail to put away the sail. Try when you uh, want to adjust your speed. Do you understand that? Yes. Ah, uh, one more thing. When you are when you are out at the sea with a few landmarks to go by, you will be at the mercy of the sea chart. I have marked the I have little bit. I have marked the place we should currently be heading on your sea uh, chart. If you get lost, select map display on the Wii U gamepad to open your sea chart. You can also pause the game with the plus button on your Wii on your Wii pad and confirm your position. Now I recently wind blows. Hop in and let us carry to the east. Alright, as he said, stay next to him, hit A to climb, and press A to set the sail. Alright. Now on the GameCube version, I believe that you have to manually show him the um the sail. Now, do you see that that uh that island that's shaped like a cross? That's where we're going, but we're not going to head there just yet because there's something I want to do first. And so now we're sailing away somewhere beyond the sea, somewhere waiting for me. My love stands in golden suns and watches the ships. Okay. Alright, I see, um, oh yeah, I, uh, I believe I see, uh, a particular, um, island I want to go to. Right in front of me. There should be a ship. Is this it? No. Fuck, it's not it. It's not. That's not it. Anyway, as uh, Red said, you, you know the you know the uh, golden you know the golden arrow right behind my boat. It's it, it's indicating which wind is blowing. But but later on, I will have the ability to control the wind. But that's until I get to um to our next destination. All right. Okay, th I think that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Cause I need I need to, I need to talk to these guys. Oh no, they're enemies. What the hell? Hmm, that's weird. Because I, I watched this on Metal P Adventure. Let's play this and he found with no problems. Alright, there is a small island I kinda passed. Oh shit. Cause I, I'm trying to find a treasure chart by talking to those uh, those pirate people. And the reason why I'm going slow because the wind is not blowing that direction. Oh boy, I can't be lost that easily. But like I said, man, he found this with no problems. Oh man, that means I, I may I may have to I may have to I may have to come back once I get that uh get that ability where I can control the wind. Oh, I should come back to it. Oh no 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 no. Where the fuck is it? Okay. 
Now see that that now that island up there? That's where I, that's where I was trying to go to. But I was trying to find those freaking pirates so they can give me a treasure chart. Ah oh, damn. Yeah, it's up there, but it's gonna take a long time to get there. See if we gotta play the rating game. Oh you hit CR to jump. I actually love the music. Yeah, yep, that's the island I'm trying to go to. And, it, and is that the fucking ship I'm talking about? Good, I think good, I found it. Thank God. That took a few minutes. Yeah, I know I should have came back when I got that particular um Item that controls the wind. All right, come on. I understand the I understand the wind is blowing the opposite direction, but move faster, wood. All right, let's put away and get out and let's uh, talk. Oh God, how can I talk to him? Ah. Uh. All right, let's talk to him. Y'all. The mighty fine boat you got there, Bulb. You must be searching for the treasure on the seafloor too, aren't you? Ha 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 ha! You won't get any, you won't get any, any from us, Bulb. Not likely. Let me ask you something real quick. Who wanders around the who wanders around the fishless sea? A guy like Link. That's who. <laughs> I'll tell you who, Bulb. The only pirates, monsters, and treasure hunters like ourselves, and maybe some other things that I never heard of. You know. All the weak island dwellers who never leave their shores. I'm amazed to see a tiny little guy out here. I love you. I like your style, bub. I feel like I've known you my whole life. So hey, bub. I'll tell you what. As as one treasure hunter, another. I'll give you this. You definitely be needing if you want to haul up treasure. Come on, take it. I won't take no for an answer. I won't take nay, nope, or nar. Just grab it. And we get another treasure chart. Alright. First, open the map on your Wii U gamepad, then compare the island charge on the right of the treasure charge on the left to see where the treasure lies. And we'll be doing that much later. If you press pause if you press pause the game, you can't take your sweet thing pouring over the charts after all haste makes waste. After that, all you need to do is use the same thing we use to haul up treasure, one of the grappling hooks which we don't which we don't have yet that the Rito tribes folks of Dragon Roost Island, which is our next destination spoiler, use. Yeah, the grappling hooks, nothing pull up stuff like those. Alright, little treasure buddy, best of luck to all of us. Alright. Alright, now that particular I'm trying to go to is right over here. Alright, come on, trying to jump so I can move a little faster. All right. Oh, anyway, as for Neptunia Victory 2, I, I really hope it's on the PS3, not on the PS4, because I don't have the PS4 yet, and even if it came on the PS4, I won't be able to record it. But yeah. So this is uh, this is the uh, this is the uh, I was talking about. We want to hit the B button to get out. And oh, look, there's a message box. Let me get that just for the hell of it. And I don't care if someone spoiled my video. But now let's get on land. I said let's get on land. We just gotta find a, a steep ass hill to walk on. Alright. So now you wanna go to the Alright, first let's uh let's cut some grass and um get some rubies. Or we can stop wasting time and get to that big ass rock. And look for an opening. And you want to crawl down here. Wait, put your shield away. Your sword, I mean. Then crawl through the door. And down we go. That's right. And down I go. And this is our. And this is our, this is like a sub mini dungeon. I must call it. And you don't really do much here, but there is something special down here that we need to get. Oh, and it's our new enemy, the shoes, which are easy to defeat. Let's just kill them. 
Wow. I may took it I may took it one hit, but I'm okay. Alright, if you I I'm not believe we gotta take take this road, but as you can see, it's blocked off. But we can't do anything about it. So that means we, we, we have to come back here later on in the game. But there's another hallway we can um, go to, which is right here. Walk past that big ass boulder. And we should see a treasure chest. But first, let's take on the shoes. Yeah! Okay, and we get the, um, the red shoe jelly, keeping your spoils back. The Gladius goo comes from the deep within red choo choos. It is effective as, as a cure of, of for exhaustion, but it can't be used in current state. Yeah, folks, I know I can't read, but deal with it. All right, so what do we get? What do we get? And we've got a piece of heart, and that's our fourth one, which means that we get another heart container. And that means your life, your life energy has increased by one. So like all Zelda games. All right, all right. Let me get rid of that symbol. All right. I added, I hit the, added hit the, um, hit the word bottles on my gamepad to get rid of that symbol on my screen. All right. Cause it was bothering me though, but no biggie. So now we're done here for now, but we, we will be coming back here later on. Once we get a certain item. So now let's get the hell out of here. Alright, since 20 minutes is up, I'll take, I'll take you guys to uh, Dragon Roos Island. And then we'll end the episode. Okay. Just making sure. Man, Red Line, how the fuck you get over there? <laughs> that's, not, that's not where I parked you at. All right. So I wish I could. I wish I can show you show you guys the map, but only I can see the map on my gamepad. But I'm not using I'm not using the pro controller. If, if, if you guys haven't already know by now. <laughs> so now we're ready to go to Dragon Roos Island. All right. But watch out! There are there are enemies lurking. Oh yeah, in the GameCube. Uh, in this version, unlike the GameCube version, if you get hit by an enemy, he will he will no longer fall off his boat. Just 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 thought I'd point that out. All right, we should get a cutscene starting right about now. Oh, I see a dragon up there. Who is he taking a shit? But no, he he's stuck on the volcano blow. We we will learn about that dragon like in the next video. There on hor on the horizon. This is our destination link, the Dragon Roos Island. Alright, we made it to the Dragon Roos Island. But after this cutscene goes off, we will continue this in the next video. High atop this island peak lives the spirit of the of the skies, a great dragon by the name of Valu. Valu, and I see a message. And I see a message ball down there. You must go see the dragon and request from him a jewel called Den's Pearl. Ask the people of uh, Rito Tribe and who inhibit this island about how to see the, the dragon. Oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Wait a moment. This is the Wind Waker. Uh, it is the baiting of sorts that was used a long ago when the people played music in, in prayer to the gods. In those days, I simply using it to allow one to borrow the power of the gods, but I do not know if it still works. Even so, I thought it, I thought it might be some some use to you. Perhaps you should try using it. All right, now it's time to practice using the Wind Waker. First contact three and a half four time. Do, don't touch the don't touch left joystick. Just try to match the rhythm by tilting left joystick up, down, and wait. I mean right joystick up, down, and right. But this has more than uh, three notes. I know you said don't hit the left joystick, but if you do, you increase you increase four notes. And you hit right, you increase six notes. 
But for now, let's do let's, let's do what the uh, red lion says. Hit up, down, and right. And you got and, and you have to input in, in a specific beat. Very nice. That was splendid. Next, four four hour four time. Hold the uh, right joystick to change the rhythm. Then match the rhythm and tilt right joystick up, right, left, and down. But it's kind of hard to explain this. But the e the easier way to um um hit those combinations and and beats, you want to hold the right joystick as the uh, up beater goes to the center. You don't have to tap it; just hold it. That makes things a lot easier. That's it, Link. That was not that that was not bad for your first time using. The wind rigger, not bad at all. You can now conduct it with six out of four time by tilting the right joystick. You will, you will do remember to do that. And we got the wind waker as the game as the game style speaks for itself. By using this magical conductor's base, and you can borrow the borrow the gods. Use the right joystick. You use the. Damn, I cannot fucking read on this fucking screen. Use the joystick to conduct. Let's just put it that way. All right, so the left. To conduct, to conduct in three out of four times. I want to read all this. All right, so now I can finally end this episode. So next time, let's play Legend of Zelda: The Wind Waker HD. We're going to explore uh, Dragon Roots Island and see what's going on once we get in, once we get in the uh, volcano. So until next time, Celtics 842 out.